Thanks to computerized review tools like automated clash detection, gone are the days of spending hours with red pen and highlighter going through reams of documents, since now we can find those conflict areas automatically. Even still, managing series of clash tests can get complicated, which is why Clash Detective is designed to help us control these clash tests and to leave an audit trail of clashes throughout the life of the project. Let's see how we can manage and organize our clash tests into ultimately what would be a request for information to send back to engineers and designers. As we saw before, we can explore the results of the clash tests in a list and in the scene view. Let's examine the results from test one, which are those from the lights and sprinkler pipes. We can place them both into a single folder with a descriptive name. This reduced the results tally from 2 down to 1. Now let's enter the results from test 2 to familiarize ourselves and see if we can identify some common root causes of those clashes, which were much more numerous. As I flick through the clashes, I see that they are mostly between ducts and either beams or joists on the second floor. Having identified those two problems, we can create a folder for each root cause where we can group those two types of clashes, one for beams and one for joists. I will title one glue lamb beams. We can drag and drop the clashes matching that case. And another is here between the second floor joists and the ducts. Let's add a second folder and drag and drop all the clashes deriving from that cause into it. Remember, we can easily modify how the clashes are being displayed. After determining that all of these remaining belong to the Joyce folder, we can easily do a multiple select and add them at once to that folder. What used to be a clash list of more than 50 items has been reduced down to just two. Now let's look at how we can publish these results into reports with the views, red lines, and comments, and ultimately share it with the appropriate team member able to resolve the matter. From the Reports tab, we can write a report in any of the following formats, XML, HTML, text, and as viewpoints. Let's look at the as viewpoints option. The as viewpoints option will create a folder in the saved viewpoints window called the name of the test. Each clash is saved as a viewpoint in this folder with a comment attached containing the clash result details. Now let's browse to that report in the Viewpoints window. Depending on whether we're viewing from the Viewpoints window or the Clash Results window, the display may be different. Now that we've organized and better managed our clashes, let's go back and add some red line tags and comments. We can do this right within the clash results window by highlighting a clash in the window, setting the display option as desired, clicking the tag tool, and associating a comment with it. Then the comment will show a red dot in the window indicating its source is a clash view. Another convenient way to write a report is as an HTML, an option in which we will actually create a web page detailing the managed clashes that my entire team can view. Let's try this. When we open the HTML report, there we see the clashes as they are organized in folders and any associated comments, and complete with images 